continue remembering Miguel Luna. The 53-year-old Providence City Councilor was laid to rest today. Colleagues and friends stood outside City Hall as the funeral procession passed by to pay their final respects to a man who served his neighborhood for nearly a decade. Eyewitness News, news reporter Stephen Schuler joins us now with more live outside Providence City Hall. Councilman Miguel Luna leaves behind three young children. He also leaves a legacy of service and selflessness here in the capital city. The banner reads, Miguel, your struggle is our struggle. In a funeral procession that resembled a rally, hundreds marched the streets of South Providence to honor City Councilman Miguel Luna. This was a nice send off for him. It's, it speaks volume, it speaks in volume for him, the type of person that he was. In a packed church, Mayor Angel Tavares remembered Luna for his outstanding service. The 53-year-old represented the Elmwood section of Providence, where he constantly fought for the less fortunate. And that I know how it's done more for a community of people than I've ever seen since I've been here in five years. Uh, one of the t-shirts said, uh, a man of the people, not of the machine. Uh, so that's certainly what you felt here. Following the funeral, a formal procession traveled past City Hall, where Luna served for nearly a decade. Known for his sense of humor and tireless work, Luna's legacy will surely inspire others in the capital city for years to come. Clearly there's a, a number of people that really support him and support what, what he has stood for and it's really uh, a call to, to people to keep being involved and, and move forward. And we've learned a special election will be held to fill Luna's vacant seat sometime before the end of the year. Live outside Providence City Hall with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.